There we showed you how Governor Ron DeSantis chose Hialeah to announce big news of the vaccine rollout. That's right. Hialeah's mayor, though, was not invited to the event, but he crushed it anyway. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live now to tell us what's behind this apparent rift. Glenna. Uh, rift number three, four, five, we've kind of lost count, but there is definitely something going on. And rather than amplify the drama, we set out today to find the source and talked behind the scenes with a good number of Hialeah's political leaders. And by consensus, it really feels like this just needs some good relationship counseling. Look, we got the murderer's row here with elected officials. The governor year. came to Hialeah to announce more vaccination sites. Representative Cabrera, Pepe Diaz, Lieutenant Governor Nunez, County Mayor. I mean, did I miss anybody? Why, yes, he did. Okay. Guys, great seeing you. We're going to take off. But only when the governor and the rest were on the way out did the mayor of Hialeah step out to speak out. Governor, the mayor of Hialeah, how are you, sir? We would like to speak. By now, there is a bona fide pattern. I was not invited to this, just like I was not invited to a previous meeting. What started this apparent cold war between a Republican mayor and a Republican governor in this Republican-centric city? The first inklings may have been here. Last April, from unemployment lines to spiking cases, Mayor Hernandez wanted more attention to his city from the get-go. But the governor was dealing more with counties than individual cities. Then, July, there was this gathering at County Hall with a few city mayors. We are sort of at a critical juncture. Miami's mayor brought Hernandez, but without that name on the list, the governor's staffers declined to let him in. The governor said, I wasn't personally the one that invited the, the folks. The mayor said, It's a lack of respect. And then aired his grievances nationally on cable news the next day. It showed me the leadership. That we have in Tallahassee. Fast forward to this day. That pattern continues. The mayor critiques, the governor goes about business without him, and neither, by all accounts, has made a first move to break the cycle. Oh, just pick up the phone, somebody. Okay, so the question is, what do the residents of Hialeah think about all this? Well, I spent about a half an hour walking around, chatting with people, and the consensus is most didn't even know about it, and all of them said that they weren't affected one way or the other. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Hialeah tonight, Local 10 News.